Yeah, thank you, Shell. I always look forward to uh, visits by Terry Gar. She is candid and a refreshing uh, young lady and a most talented actress who was nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Her latest film is called Miracles with Tom Conti, which will come out in August. And in September, she has another movie coming out called After Hours. Would you welcome Miss Terry Gar? <laughs> Are you leaving already? Yes. <laughs> I thought already you were having an anxiety attack and you were going right out the door. No, no. Okay. I'm not. Did you see what we were doing a moment ago? Um, no. We're, we're playing a game called Scruples. You ever heard about it? No. These are, all right, I'm going to just pull some things out of the box. I'll explain this. Okay. This is a game called you just, there are no right or wrong answers. Okay. It's a game called you make a judgment on what you, which you would do in this situation. You are attractive but poor and without skills. Someone offers you a lot of money to work for and escort service do you accept you know it's funny this happened to me <laughs> figures figures with you no of course i wouldn't do that well now that's just the judgment you say well, that's the judgment oh there you go there's no right or wrong answer some no. people might say yeah i would do that i need the money and it depends what an escort service what do you mean by that and then you're not allowed to say that you're wrong you'd be doing a, you'd be making a mistake well, isn't that, but isn't that an individual judgment? Somebody else may not figure it's wrong. If it was just an escort service, you go out with somebody. Is that, is that wrong? Mm-hmm. It is why. <laughs> well, you go out with somebody for money that you don't like? How can that be right? S suppose. Well, come on. All right. That's, that's exactly what the game is about. Mm -hmm. You sit around and discuss it, and somebody says, well, suppose you don't like the person, and there's, it, it doesn't, it's not a sexual thing. I'm going to go out, people work in their job every day with people they might not like. Yes, I'm sure. You see, to say mm -hmm. they have to make money to put bread on the table. Now, under those circumstances, might you, might you have another uh, look at it and say, well, I might in that situation. Yes, I, it is a very philosophical game, That's isn't what it? the game is about. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. I mean, it's true. You're right. I'm, I'm very judgmental. Yeah. I mean, so I, I make judgments all the time. I go, oh, no, no, this is nonsense. We're, I'm not dealing with this. And then... So I, I guess I shouldn't. Is that what this game teaches you? Is that you can't make judgments? I don't know. I just think there are no right or wrong answers. You, the, what it does, I think it really stimulates conversation at a party. For example, mm -hmm. I haven't seen this one. After okay. looking for work for six months, you get a good offer from a large weapons maker. Do you accept it? Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people, because of their feeling, would say, no, I won't work for a weapons maker. Yeah. So that's interesting. I wouldn't do that, but it's, yeah. A close friend asks you to hide an illegal drug. Do you agree? Absolutely not. I would never do something like that. Well, let's see. We'll see what you would do here. What kind of clothes? Are you? Mm. <laughs> no, you're you're very you have very strong judgments on things. I guess I do. I do. Yeah. But I mean, I, I guess if you start splitting hairs and there's that gray area, I call it the uh, the PBS possible bull. PBS. PBS. Uh huh. You got it. You Those got are it. psychics fall into that category, right. and pe it's like that. Um, do you ever go to a psychic? Well, I do, because it's fun and I like it, but, you know, they have, a, they have dog psychics now. A big pardon? Well, see, a friend of mine is taking her dog to the dog psychic because... Spare me. You're kidding me. No, well, it, the dog barks at the vacuum cleaner and barks at the hair dryer, and this dog psychic said, I will find out what the dog wants to tell you. So the psychic told us <laughs> that the psychic said, number one, the dog does not like the way she's placed the furniture. And <laughs> she's giving this man money for this, right? Yeah. And she doesn't like the, the stuff she's being fed and stuff like that. So you find things out. It's under the PBS category, yeah, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you believe but, that people have psychic powers? Uh, psychic powers, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what's out there. Up That's in the... really not a judgment. That's just an opinion, really, because I don't know how you make a moral judgment about whether people have psychic well, powers or not. You have feelings about things. Yeah. So some people have stronger feelings than, than others, and there's all that stuff that's out there that's the unknown. But I, there's something about it that makes me relax. You know, there's something about it that makes me think um, somewhere in another level that everything's written down that's going to happen. Like, everything oh. is going to happen like it's supposed to happen. Like predestination. And it's all uh, according to schedule. Everything's happening that way. I mean, we all try to lasso that fate and change it and force it around another way. It ain't going to happen. It's just going to be like it's going to be. So that makes you feel better about it. And so then, you're pretty much a realist, you know? In other words, you believe it's all set out, and whatever you do, it doesn't make much difference anyway. 
Well, I guess so. I, you know why? Because what? when I started out, you know, this this conversation isn't really very funny. Well, I don't this time, know. It doesn't have to be funny. It's a deeply interesting, though, isn't it? Isn't it? Um, <laughs> when I started out in this business and I was a dancer and stuff, I thought, oh, look at those people in the front and the stars and everything. I'll never get to, to be there. I'll never have my own dressing room. I'll never be there. I was quite sure that I would never get any place. I thought, well, I'll study acting. I'll try to do some plays, but I'm never going to do anything because. Because I'm just, uh, I'm, you know, I don't know. I just figured out that I wasn't going to do it. And? But this thing that was written in this book said, no, no, you're going to go on to do better things and to be regularly seen on Johnny Carson, David Letterman. <laughs> really? That's all written in... It was written somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I believe you, you really feel that your fate is already... Well, I sealed. think it, it, when we get so nervous about how, how come this isn't happening and how come this isn't happening, you just have to sort of relax and go, because it's not supposed to happen, and what is supposed to happen will happen later. Doesn't it make you feel a little bit better, or does it make you more nervous? <laughs> Maybe it makes you more nervous. We'll come back and follow up on this, all right? Oh, good. Sure. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, we will. Don't go. Sound like Merv then again. Good, good. Mmm, <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. We're talking with Miss Terry Gar about many things. Yes. Yeah. What do you want to talk about? Anything at all? We got about three minutes here to just kick around. That's it. You mentioned somebody's uh, uh, pet, a dog. Uh, went to a dog psychiatrist. Do you have a dog? No, no pets. Yeah, because no. you because you're not home most of the time, or what? Mm, yeah, because I travel all around. I'm an international circus performer. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't know that, but it's true. <laughs> On the high wire at all times. Uh -huh. <laughs> More ways than one. <laughs> you like to flirt on the edge, don't you? You just kind of yes, just move I, along. You know? I do. Well, I'll never topple over, though. No, it's, it's no, just... you won't. But, um, no, I don't have any pets because I'm always running around. And, in fact, next week I'm going to Japan. Really? On um, Wednesday, yes, to some film festival. What do you mean? Do you know what the film festival it is? Well, it's a film festival of, of films, I assume. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's <laughs> probably why they call else, it though. that. Could yeah. be nuts and bolts. Those Japanese and are very deep. Distributor caps, but <laughs> I think it's going to be films. And I'm going there, and I'm very excited about that because I've never been there. Yeah, I've never been to Japan either. Actually. You haven't? No. Well, I'm surprised. Why? Because you're, you could do that if you wanted to. I guess so. I just, I'm going to get around to it sooner or later. Yeah, that's what I always thought. But I probably never would unless I was asked and given these free tickets and all this. If I went, I would go into the youth hostels and I would yeah. make a big deal. About it. So now they just whisk me over there and make me do it. And... What are you looking forward to mostly? Oh, I just don't know. Just being in Japan? Well, I'd like to see their culture. You know, they're... they're... You probably will. It's open most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They're different. Cul culture opens at 9, I think, in the morning. Closes about midnight. But no, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> but, you know, they have many different things over there. People are... Um, they, they're, they don't like to lose face. And they're, they're embarrassed. And they have a big thing about humiliation. Not like us. Yeah. We don't care. Right. But there's a different kind of culture over there. I, I read this thing in National Geographic about this certain kind of sushi called fugu. That um, there's a fish that is, I think it's a blowfish. And if they don't cut it a certain way and they get the tiniest little bit of the liver of the fish in this and you eat it, it's instant death. This guy in the Kabuki Theater, he came in one night and he said, give me fugu. And they cut it and they gave it to him and he lived and he said, that was pretty good. Give me another order of fugu. The guy cut a little bit of the liver in it. The guy was dead. That's something to look forward to on this trip, isn't it? Yes, Dining yes. out yeah. with fugu. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that before. That's Stay away from something that, they though. do there. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. <laughs> fugu.